All right, y'all, we are back with another video, and here we go again with this corrupt liar, Judge Marshawn. Now, this one right here is where Lena Hobble finna go ahead and expose how Judge Marshawn and the Democrats is still trying to send Donald Trump to jail come July 11th. Just because he lifted the gag order, he was trying to throw people off, and I guess this right here is where Alina Hobble finna exposed and what Alina Harper had to say, Judge Michonne did not want anybody to hear this. So we definitely finna go ahead and check this one out. It is coming from Doug. I will leave the original video in the description. Make sure y'all go to Doug's channel. Let him know that I sent you, all right? But like I said before, just because he lifted the gag order, it, it, he tried to make it seem like he was trying to do Donald Trump a favor, which he's not. This right here is just all a setup. So like I said, we're going to dive straight into it. Like I said, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Shout out to everybody showing so much support. Everybody been leaving positive comments in the comment section. I also want to thank everybody who always watches until the very end. I appreciate all of you that do that, all right? So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive straight to it, y'all. Let's go. You don't want it. I don't want it. It's what Trump needs to do to win. Trump has to go to jail. Lena Haba is saying she's not putting it past Juan Merch on. Mm -hmm. Put him in jail. Why am I covering this? I want you to get it in your head that Trump is going to jail. That's my prediction. I don't want you to freak out when you find out. No tears. It's like, boom, what is the next tactic? What do we do to help Trump win the election? I believe when he's sentenced, he's going to jail. I believe Juan Merch on is going to do it. Alina Haba, I believe, is leaning into it, too. It is not that outrageous, guys. This is just the Democrats telling you that what they've been saying for the last year that they believe Trump is a felon, Trump is a criminal, Trump should go to jail, they're actually going to do it. Judge Juan Mershon lifted part of former President Trump's gag order. And we know it by how they treat the gag order. I remember Trump went back to Mershon this week and said, hey, relieve my gag order. Our case is done, right? And Mershon goes in and picks a few little pieces of it mm -hmm. out and relieves him. By the way, welcome to Doug and Eggs. Here's Alina Haba. First and foremost, we have the absolute ridiculousness where they try and make it sound like Judge Mershon is being politically unbiased. We know that's not the case. So he's going to do the minimal effort of removing that gag order to make him look good. Yeah. But really, he, he kept the most important parts there to keep Trump from campaigning. We had a partial win in the First Amendment gag order where he allowed the president to now speak about witnesses. Remember, President Trump is the only person being gagged here. He is the only political candidate that is being gagged. Witnesses themselves weren't gagged. So we have Judge Mershon now after the trial. Now they say, oh, hey, you were convicted by a New York blue jury, but now you can talk. Yeah. So. Now Trump can talk about the jury. He wasn't able to say it before, but basically the jury are all Democrats, which we've been saying on his behalf. So I'm not sure what he needs to say there. But the rest of his gag order needs to also be removed. Here's more. Don't get it twisted. This is what they're doing to make the American people think that everything is fair and square when mm -hmm. we know it is not. Yep. It's much like Hunter Biden, who's still walking around freely, despite the sham of a trial that they had for him to make them look like they're not biased. No. Here's the good news about Democrats trying to do things to convince you that they're not biased. It means that the narrative is winning, guys. Our narrative, our beliefs, our, I don't mean personal truth, the public truth is getting through mainstream media that they're biased. Now they're going, look, we got to do some branding. We got to do some marketing to show people that we're not biased. So, you know, the gag order, uh, merch on get you know make a few ticks off mm -hmm. hunter biden's gonna walk around you know but they're concerned now at how they're looking they really do feel like they have to do some image repair out there which probably has to do with um joe biden releasing julian assange from prison also they're doing that's marketing for their side the yep. doj and you know, Jack Smith, who we do not believe is even a valid special counsel who wasn't appointed properly, shouldn't be in the position, now asking for yet another gag order. It's no different than what we're going to see on Thursday. They are orchestrating everything through courts. If they can't hype up and hop up Joe Biden, they'll just make sure they silence President Trump while they go after him politically in the courtrooms. Yeah, but the problem is, guys, it still isn't going to work. We have to get the truth out. We have to get the word out. We have to keep spreading the word. 
Remember, it's becoming part of like the American vernacular is a two tier justice system. That is a huge marketing win for our side. That was yep. just announced today that America is it's becoming part of our vocabulary, two tier justice system. That does not apply to Republicans, by the way. That is about the Democrats. It's about the Biden administration. The two tier justice system, it's getting more popular that people are seeing Trump. He's a felon. I've said this. He's a fino, a felon in name only. They know he's not a real criminal and a real felon. Think he'll try and put President Trump in jail in the middle of a presidential campaign leading into his convention? Dang right. I'll answer that for you, Sean Hannity. Yes. <clears throat> they're they're probably going to put try him to. in jail. Uh, they're not going to get this far with saying Trump's a criminal. Trump's a criminal must be tried. Break all the rules because we have to get him because he's so bad. He's a criminal. And the, so, then suddenly when it comes to sentencing, they're going to go, just kidding. He's not a dangerous man. He didn't try to overturn the election. He's not a criminal. Don't give him jail time. They're not going to say that, guys. They're, they're going to basically, they would call themselves a lot. I can understand like what Doug saying is that the thing is they're going to try to put Donald Trump in jail. But see, the thing is Donald Trump going to try to appeal that. More likely, he already said he's going to appeal. Whatever they're going to do, he said he's going to appeal it. They're more likely going to try to put him in jail. More than likely. And it's just... A crazy, sad thing because these people cannot beat Donald Trump fair and square, and they're doing whatever it takes to try to help Joe Biden. Whatever it takes to help Joe Biden is exactly what they're going for, and it's just pathetic. It is just crazy. Man, 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 man. But I hope this right here comes back and get Judge Marshawn trying to lift the gag order and stuff, trying to lift partially of the gag order, may I say, to try to make it seem like he's trying to help Trump. But the whole time, he's trying to help the Democrats. He's trying to help Joe Biden. You heard what Joe Biden already said on the debate stage. You were convicted felon. So when comes September, what are you going to tell Donald Trump then? What are you going to tell him then? Oh, you, you going to jail. You've been in jail. That's their whole motto of trying to put Donald Trump in jail, want him to be a convicted felon so people would not vote for him. Higher if they did that. Um, I've even said it before that like, if they think they'll lose, they may not give him prison time. I think they have to give him prison time to double down on what they've been saying all the time, or they completely discredit themselves. Yep. That's my opinion on it. Here's Alina. No, I, I wouldn't put it past him. We're going to see what they recommend from the prosecution side. Obviously, there's some back and forth, but I don't put anything past them. If you recall a few weeks ago, after the trial, someone spoke on The View and said, I've spoken to people yep. in the prosecutor's office, in Alvin Bragg's office, and I've heard that they're going to recommend one. And what Alina is talking about right there is when Sonny Hostin came over there and said that she was talking to some uh, D.A. Alvin Bragg's people and saying that they're going to try to get Donald Trump jail time. She literally came on air and exposed everything. So why is they even telling Sonny Hostin from The View anything? Why? Because all of them over there, Whoopi, all of them hate Donald Trump. So that was willing to tell Sonny Hostin exactly what they plan to do to Donald Trump is which put him in prison and put him in the worst prison in America, basically. That's what they told her, and that's exactly what Alina Harvey is talking about, and that's the reason why Doug said that's what they're going to do. They're going to try to plan to put Donald Trump in jail so it can help Joe Biden. So people be like, why would I vote for Trump? He's in he's in jail. He's a convicted felon. I'm not voting for that. That's their whole goal. That's the reason why Doug is saying they more likely going to try to put him in jail, but Donald Trump is going to appeal it. But uh, I believe they're going to try to put him in jail, but I don't believe he's going to go to jail. I, I don't. I just don't see it. But we know for a fact they're more likely going to try to try it. Year at Rikers. One year at Rikers is what they yep. overheard in Alvin Bragg's office. If that's, you know, if that's a rumor, people keep asking me, Doug, why are you covering The View? Alina Hobb, I just quoted The View, okay? Yep. It's where all of the Democrats go to spew all their filth. Yep. And so she's watching. We have to keep an eye on the view. That's the popular media side of this whole thing. But they said they were in Alvin Bragg's office. They're, they think they're going to get uh, Trump with a year at Rikers. Mm -hmm. Now, whether if he serves there or not, I'm not going to mention that. I'm only saying he will be sentenced to at least a year in Rikers. And then they're, they're going to force us to go in and break their court system or have Trump go to the Supreme Court over where they can get, try to make other wins and make other cases that uh, that we let him off, even though he was found guilty by our jury system. This just proves our jury system is broken, yep. doesn't work, totally corrupt, 
totally political. Mm -hmm. First and foremost, why are you speaking to anybody from the DA's office? Secondly, the fact is, I wouldn't put any of that past them, Sean. They couldn't beat no. him when they put him in court. They couldn't beat him when they put gag orders on every single case. But now they're going to try and jail him. I don't doubt it. Yeah, she's on board with us, guys. Yep. They can't beat Trump in office. And so if they leave him be free, the way the trajectory of this thing is going, mm -hmm. Trump's going to freely win the election. So they go, well, we don't know the outcome of this. I mean, it's probably not going to work if they sentence him. But they're going to go, we don't know the outcome of this, but we have to sentence him. Just Hail Mary. We're going to just hope it changes something about this election and helps us out. What's your opinion? Does Trump get sentenced to jail? And does Trump spend one day at least in jail. Let me know in the comments below. I care what you guys think. Your views are turning us into the top channel. We already outperform many of the ratings on CNN, MSNBC right here in our zero budget studio, guys. We're <laughs> beating the big guys because you guys watch. Thanks for watching all the way to the end. Can't Shout out to Doug, man. He is doing a great job over there. Salute to him. Like I said before, make sure y'all go over there. Give them a subscribe. Let them know that I sent you. But obviously, like exactly what Doug said, they're going to try to send Donald Trump to jail because they want to see it with that right there, shake up with everybody think about Donald Trump. Would that convince voters not to vote for Donald Trump because he's a convicted felon? He's in jail for a year. According to uh, Sonny Holston, he's going to do a year in jail and then arrest on papers. That's what she said on The View that she got information from the office of what they plan to do to Donald Trump. And that is just sick that they sharing information behind the scenes. And then all of a sudden a jury, somebody's uh, cousin from the jury said that, said that they uh, cousin is a jury and they going to sentence Trump. It's just so much stuff being said behind the scenes. And I know Judge Juan Michon got something to do with this crap, but we shall see. I will keep y'all up to date with everything. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. And I'll catch y'all in the next one.